you said last night you were damaged goods. Do you accept that? No. Um, look, uh, I actually work very hard to, you know, um, set a high standard and live up to it. And um, I'm very proud of how I live and what I've achieved. And I never worry when other people are going to say and report and do, you know, that's their responsibility. Uh, what I'm responsible for is my own actions and my own behaviour. We, we all know that politics is a rough game must be a kick in the gut on a personal level. No, not at all. No? No. Um, I don't feel that at all. Um, I have, I joined, in fact, we started ACT um, for a simple reason, to make the country a better place. Um, I've supported ACT through thick and thin to that regard. I think ACT now, more than ever, is crucial to uh, the next government and so I support it and continue to support it. Even if there's no place for you within it? Sure, um, of course. And I mean, that's the nature of um, any organisation, any process. So, um, no, I totally support it. I don't, I don't feel kicked in the guts. In fact, quite the reverse. Um, I feel very privileged and humbled uh, to have had the roles in ACT that I've had and indeed in our parliament and in our government, as I said in my speech. And, um, you know, that, that has been amazing to me, not something I've ever expected in my life. Um, so, and I've been very appreciative um, of the support that I've received through this time. Uh, through all that, again, I've um, worked to put the best interests of the party and of the government and therefore of the country. So I haven't thought of it as a personal thing at all. You're not even a little bit angry? No. Why not? Well, you know, I've been in politics a while and been around a while and I've never found anger helps. Is it time to get out of politics now? Oh, look, um, I'm just getting this process sorted. And, um, you know, that's taken an inordinate amount of time. And so I've just focused on that. Where did it go wrong? Well, I mean, you were the perk buster who took the big trip with his girlfriend. It's the David Garrett film. Where do you think things turned for you? Oh, uh, probably when Don Brash put his hand up. Um, <laughs> no, look, um, I don't... I don't look at that. Was, look, the way I explain it is this, in my mind. Um, it's always a tough place to be, to be a small party supporting a bigger party in government. It's a very, very hard place to be, because you're sitting there with, say, five MPs in our case, and you're taking the heat of the government, and you do come under, I don't think for a minute that Don Rash is there on the media for saying, I'm focused on me. Um, I think the focus is on us because the opposition know that if they can knock me out of Epsom or take out ACT, it's very, very hard for the national government to succeed. So I always knew that we were going to come under intense pressure and a lot of heat. We also took on some big jobs, um, and I'm proud of uh, what we did. I don't believe it did go wrong in the sense we've got a very strong leader now for the ACT party to take us into the election. And we've been elected, yeah. Well, that's true. Um, but I, I um, you can count on my vote. Um, we've got a very strong leader, and I mean, the credibility of Don is huge, because um, he had a big credibility before he took over the National Party leadership. He took over the National Party leadership and was very successful. So um, I feel that it's gone well, because not only did we survive in 2005, we changed the government and formed part of the government in 2008, and here we are in 2011 with a very strong leader to take that forward. So I consider that to be um, a huge achievement. So your credibility was shot? No. Um, you really believe it? Yes, I do. I mean, people will form their own opinions, and I'm not responsible for them. Uh, what I am responsible for are my own actions. And I'm very, very proud of what I've achieved. And I'm very, very proud of the standards that I've set. And yes, I have fallen short. I have made mistakes. Um, I've also done a lot. And what I do is, um, I hope, um, I realise my mistakes, I work very hard to put them right and not to repeat them. So, you know, people will form their opinions of me, but I'm not responsible for their opinion. What I am responsible for is my own behaviour.